Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being a viewer, for being a subscriber. If you learn something new from this video, please consider subscribing. Please consider enabling notifications. It's your vote of confidence in us and all the news we bring you. Now, the, the Republicans have responded to the updated version of the $2.2 trillion HEROES Act. On your screen, you'll see the website of lawmaker Stephen Scalise. He's a, he's a Republican lawmaker from Louisiana. He's a congressman. He's actually the House Minority Whip. He did speak also at the Republican National Convention. And uh, according to an internal memo that was obtained by the reporter Eric Wasson, uh, the House GOP is preparing a no vote against the Democrats' new $2.2 trillion stimulus bill. And according to this internal memo, neither this bill nor anything like it will ever become law and Republicans should remain unified against this partisan power grab. I mean, it's um, this is not encouraging at all. And uh, in fact, here's a tweet on your screen from Congressman Steve Scalise. And he said, I quote, Democrats are trying to pull a fast one. They stripped $600 million of police funding out of their new pandemic bill that was in their previous, pan that was in their previous package. Republicans caught them. Uh, retweet so everyone sees what Democrats are trying to do to our police officers. Very unfortunate that the two sides are still not seeing eye to eye. I want to provide you the real honest truth because I know you, my viewers and subscribers can handle it. I'm not going to give you false hope. I'm not even going to waste time breaking down that bill or trying to pretend like it's good news um, because uh, this bill uh, from the House Democrats, uh, um, right now the way things stand is if U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi meet somewhere in the middle, then that has a chance. If we end up seeing the House Democrats bring that bill to the floor of the House, the $2.2 trillion updated version of the HEROES Act, it's going to be dead on arrival in the Senate based on, uh, based on the initial reactions from Steve Scalise. It'll end up being a symbolic gesture. I hope uh, we don't end up wasting time uh, in that manner. But again, my goal is to prevent you with the honest news, the true news, without any false hype, without any false hope, without any, you know, any promises that finally this is uh, good news. Because uh, uh, right now, based on the initial reaction, it's not looking good. Um, can Steven Mnuchin and House Speaker Pelosi meet somewhere in the middle? And then can the Republicans uh, rally behind that? It's too soon to tell. We'll find out. But I wanted to give you the news. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. I know the news isn't great, but you know, we, we put in a lot of effort for you. Uh, please subscribe. Please enable notifications. That's your vote of confidence in us and the work we put in. Please also like the video and I would really appreciate you doing that. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.